Hi, welcome to the Harvesters Ready Media. Now today I've got an updated version of my custom stage views for OpenRP, which means it's even easier to integrate OpenRP with OBS. <laughs> Hi all, welcome back. It's been a long time, hasn't it? Now, I've been busy over the last few weeks creating two things. The uh, new custom stage views that I've just mentioned, and also a companion program that helps you create lower thirds. The caveat is it is just for Linux, but I'll go through it anyway with you guys. But let's get started. Let's get started in two new custom stage views. So let's have a look. So what we have here is my GitHub page, which has the latest custom stage views. You can see, you can see here, we've got custom stage views for version three and the old 2.4. Those haven't really changed, so you can use them as they are in the previous videos. But the custom stage views that we've got here have now been updated to use in version three. Um, it also Basically, it's the same basic procedure. You simply just copy the stage views into the stages folder, and I'll show you how to do that very, very shortly. Now, ensure that the remote plugin is enabled, like I've said before. Okay, and I'll go through all the installation instruction, but what I want to go through is here. The OBS web sockets, I couldn't get working properly, but what I have done is, instead of using the web sockets, I've actually updated the stage view itself. And the JavaScript. So now what it does, it, it you can say automatically will hide or display your stage view, your song or your slide that you're doing, your Bible that you're hiding. So if you're selecting Bibles, it will, and you've got a Bible stage view, it will automatically display that accordingly. If you switch to a song, that will hide and it won't be visible. Okay, so, and again, as well with live or in desktop mode. So if it's live, it will show, and it will automatically decide whether to show the particular text on the, on the stage view or not, based on the condition of OpenLP. So that means it's going to be trivially easier to make it integrated with OBS. So let's have a quick look at the updates. So, as of January 30th, it's quite a while ago, but I've done some changes since then to make it a bit more better, but it, yeah, but it's updated. Um, this is the latest one here. Bible, left aligned, full page, Bible center, centers the text of the page, Bible center left, the lower third of the Bible's verse. Now here's the new things that I put in here. Bible, center lower, with a shadow background. So if you've got, if you want to, this, this particular stage rule would mean that no matter what the background is, it will still come up nice and clear. So yeah, that's, a, that's an update there. Bible right, uh, lower third, and lower third with shadows. Both of these lower thirds are actually just um, standard four line lower thirds. And my usual open, um, open RP chords, which is the ability to be able to use, you know, Chord Pro and just convert them into a format for open RP easily. So how do we install this? Well, first of all, we need to download the zip file here. There we go. That'll be all done. So I'll open up the folder. Okay. I've already done one over here already. So all you would do is you would open it up here, which I have here. And then you need to copy this folder to your data folder of OpenRP. So let's go to OpenRP. There we have. And to find the data folder of OpenRP, what you do is you go over to your, your tools area here, and it says here, open data folder. So you open data folder, and that brings up this, and you'll have the stage folder. So I'm going to reset this completely, so I'm just going to delete that out. And I'm just going to copy the stages folder here, and paste it into the stage into the data folder of OpenRP. Okay. So now we have our custom stage views already installed. Now, to use them, we need to go into OBS. So here we have a blank OBS scene. 
okay you could use this with a vmix any uh, live streaming software that has the ability to overlay a browser source so i've just created a blank purple template here just to just to show how this works so what we also need to create now to Im import the lo the lower thirds or the the information that we're getting from OpenRP is to create a new scene for OpenRP. So I'm just going to put the name to be OpenLP stage. Okay. And then we've got that there. So here we are. Okay. And then in here, we're going to put two browser source, one for a Bible and one for songs. Okay, so here we go. So we go to browser source, and we're going to do Bible first. We go OK. Now, to use this, we need to get the correct URL. So let's go back to OpenRP, not OpenRP, oh, yeah, OpenRP, yep. And we want to go to the settings, configure OpenRP, and go to remote interface. This is the URL that you'll need on your network that you can use in OpenRP. So we're gonna copy that link location. And if we remember here, the full URL is gonna be that URL plus the folder here. So any one of these. So we're gonna we're gonna add Bible and we're also gonna show I'm gonna show you the lower third shadow. So those are gonna be the two URLs that we're going to be adding into OpenRP. So here we go. So we're going to paste that URL and we're going to add at the end of it the name of our custom stage room Bible and don't forget a trailing slash. You need to set the width and height to this to the, the preview of what you're doing. I don't know why at the moment my OBS is saying it's, it's locking up when it isn't. But it doesn't seem to be affecting it for the working or anything. It's just really annoying. Anyway, so we're going to delete the custom CSS and we're going to refresh when it becomes active. So we go, okay. Right. Okay. It's blank now because we have got nothing working with OpenRP. So this is fine. So far, everything is all good. So now we want to add another color uh, browser source. Okay, we're going to call this songs, and we're going to add that URL that we had last time, but this time we're going to put the lower third shadow. Again, we're going to set the width and height. Uh, that's going to be different for you. That's going to be just basically oh, accordingly. Go space. Okay, so there we go. So we've got the songs and Bible, but we've got nothing showing at the moment. That is because it is set to the wrong thing. Now, and we're going to and oh, let me update this in the scene. We're going to add um, the. Then we're going to add the uh, scene, open RP stage to here. Okay, so now when I enable, see if I enable this on here, presentation is live. So let's go back to open RP. Oh, it's already there. I can see it. So there you can see. The lower third is working fine. Now, if I change to the Bible, that changes over automatically. So no matter what I'm doing, it will automatically display the correct thing in OpenRP. So there's no need for any plugins or anything like that. 
the stage view itself will decide whether it is shown and if you want to hide it you simply um, show desktop or show one of the others and it will disappear from OBS so that's very very nice it makes it very very streamlined and I hope that works out well okay so now for the next program now here's a little thing here okay so we're going we're going here to so here we've got open rp right and for example you've decided to use five lines so let's let's just change our thing to five lines we've got it there so but if we go to obs now we show the presentation it looks horrible right it doesn't look good now you can modify the CSS yourself and make it so it's actually the correct size um, accordingly but my companion program here is designed to help you create lower thirds very easily and to help us we can use live so here we go, we've got a preview of what's actually happening from OpenRP, and we can now adjust it accordingly. Now, I I want to yeah, I want to leave the background it is, but I just need to change the relative height to something smaller. Okay, that's about as that's probably about how small I don't want it much smaller than that. I'll make it a bit bigger. But I think the height needs to be changed. So let's change the height. That's good. And the slide height I can make bigger as well to encompass the text. There we go. Okay, we also need to change the padding so it actually makes it, makes it in a nicer place. There we go. That looks good. Now what about the color? Well, we can change all of that too. We can change the font. So I'm thinking I'm going to change the font to something a little bit different. So let's have a look. Something nice. Draw is sans tire bold italic. Just like that. Oh. Let's just try it. I need to look at that. It looks like the so let's change the padding to match that font. There we go. And we're going to change the color. And what am I going to do? Uh, we've got a purple background, so I don't like that. So I'm going to do yellow. And do we want to drop shadow? Yeah, do we want a background color? Yeah, I'm gonna think about it. I'm gonna have a background color, but I'm gonna change the background color to to maybe a dark gray. Okay. We can also change the timing, so I'm gonna change that. So I'm gonna have that down to 800. Let me save it. So we need to give it a name. So I'm going to call it yellow. Okay. So we saved it. So now we can go back to OpenRP. We can update our OpenRP songs here. And do you remember the name we gave it? Okay, there we go, it's all updated. So there you go, it's nice, quick and easy to create a custom stage through in, in OpenRP, especially if you've got Linux. Um, I can give you some guidance of how to install that. I've, yep, you can go to my repositories, yeah, seven, and you'll see uh, the repository is there. 
that's the OpenRP companion. I'll upload the latest packages and the latest source code there. Um, that runs on Linux. I've tested it with Fedora, and it works well on that. Um, it just saves to your basic. Uh, it, it doesn't. If you change the data folder, it will not work. So it saves it to the default data location of OpenRP. Okay, so if you've changed it somewhat, that will not work. I need to update it. This is just quick and dirty, it's just based on a standard installation under Linux. It will, um, yeah, so whatever the your home folder is under um, local OpenRP, it will be, that's where you'll find it. The same location that you put your stages folder will be in, in, in there. There we have it. A new OpenRP lower thirds, um, state custom stage views, and a new utility to actually make it simpler to install uh, to actually create and install um, stage views for OpenLP. Hope you enjoy. Till next time, please like, comment, and subscribe.